Hello there and welcome to your first one show of the week with Roman Ken and Alex Jones. We're and joining John on the sofa are two actors from two of the most successful shows on the planet. Yes, she is the star of Emily in Paris, the romantic comedy whose latest season went straight to number one on Netflix. And he played the professor in the crime thriller Money Heist, which was a huge global hit as well. And tonight, Lily Collins and Alvaro Morte will be here to tell us about making their West End debuts together. Yeah, also coming up, we'll be speaking of amazing athletes. We'll also hear the inspirational story of Cindy Nagamba, the Olympic. Make sure that our bills are paid. Oh, you just feel so sorry for him, don't yeah. you? Yeah, totally. Terrible. Um, right, time now to welcome tonight's guest. is comedian John Bishop, star of Money Heist, Alvaro Morte, and Emily in Paris, Lily Collins. Yes. <laughs> And Lily, we'll talk about your West End debut in a sec. But first of all, of course, we have to ask you about Emily in Paris. <laughs> New series, but Emily is not in Paris. Why am I doing a French accent? I don't know. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. I don't know. <laughs> it's don't awful. Know. Um, so not in Paris, but somewhat equally lovely. Well, it's going to most likely start in Rome. I don't know how long we will stay in Italy, but I hope we get to explore more because we had so much fun. Yeah, I mean, it must be so hard filming this programme. <laughs> you know, so it does feel a bit like a constant vacation. <laughs> yeah, amazing outfits all the time. Yeah, it's so yeah. great. Yeah, it's so fantastic. Thank well, you. John, we're going to start with you. Not uh, Paris or Rome, I'm afraid. We're talking... Uh, now, we're about to be joined by our next guest, who tonight is attending a special awards ceremony just across the piazza at the BBC Radio Theatre for this year's BBC Green Sports Awards. Yeah. London School of Fashion, and I'm going to have an amazing dress made for me um, for the Sports Personality of the Year Awards um, in December. Oh, wow. So I can't wait to see what it is, what it looks like. Any designs yet or no? It's still early days. Still early days okay. at the moment. Um, we've got to work on it. But I know that the designer that we're working with, um, she takes a lot of inspiration from the, nat uh, the natural world. Um, so I'm hoping there's going to be something um, of that reflected in the design. Great idea. Now, Lily, we know, obviously, Emily in Paris... I, I just watch it for the outfit. I mean, I just love it. But you are, in fact, very sustainable when it comes to fashion. And is it right that you love to raid your family's wardrobes, like your mother and your grandmother's old stuff? Yeah, I definitely was raised thrifting, going to vintage shops, reusing. Um, I'm really big into vintage. And I try with our costume designer, Marilyn Fatusi, on the show to reuse a lot of things as well. And just to always go back to vintage because... Yeah. Reloving something and giving it a second life is so important. Yeah, 100%. Now, Imogen, you, you've been so busy. I mean, the fact that you're sat here and you've got a, an Olympic gold medal around your neck there. <laughs> casual. It's very, very casual. Very but, casual. but what's even more fascinating is two days after the Olympics, you started a brand new job. Yeah. In the dress. In the dress would be amazing. Mm. Uh, now, in just a moment, uh, we'll be asking Alvaro and Lily about how they're feeling ahead of their West End debut. But first, we have another Olympian for you to meet. Yeah, she represented Team Refugee at Paris 2024. And now she's giving back to the community that helped her sporting dreams come true. You just keep being a role model. Oh, I miss you, <laughs> This gym has become Cindy's family. And all she wants to do is to give back to the people here. And not just with physical health but with mental well-being too. What an inspiration Cindy is. What a journey she's been on. Oh, thank you very much to Kevin. What a journey indeed she's been on. Absolutely. Mm. Um, now then, you two, um, you've <laughs> both starred in smash hit television programmes, yourself and Money Heist and you and Emily in Paris, but now you're making your West End debuts. So what was the transition like from TV to stage, because I was quite surprised, Lily, that you, you did it in school, but not professionally. No, no, this is my first experience, um, and the West End has been a childhood dream uh, of mine. So to be able to be doing it with Alvaro, with our amazing team, and Lynette Linton at the Duke of York, it's, it's a total dream. But it is, yeah. it's so different from film and TV. You don't get to just have another take. So it's all in the, in the prep stage, which we're very much in right now. We're knee deep. Yeah. Very quick turnaround, so we're <laughs> we're really yeah. excited. Do you, do you prefer that though? Because like it, sometimes when stuff is like I mean live, like in in the moment, yeah. is this live? Is that, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. But do you know what I mean? It, it's quite good. But Alvaro, I understand that the West End for you being being in the West End, it's kind of a full circle moment, right? Well, it is indeed because um, you know when I met when I met 
my wife years ago, she was like, you, you, you're not, you have never been in, in, in London? I mean, what, we have to fix that. And I was like, yeah, sure, let's go, sure. So ever since, since that first moment in London, I was like shocked with the city. I love the city, the vibe of it. And of course the theater here. And ever since we came that first time, we were coming like every year, at least for one long weekend. And one of those trips, we were, um, we get these tickets for seeing uh, Ian McKellen's King Lear. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. And at that moment before Money Heist, before everything, we were building our own theater, small theater company mm -hmm. in Spain, which is called Trescientas Pistolas, 300 Pistols. And um, we were having a glass of wine waiting for the show to begin, you know, in this, in this theater. And I remember telling my wife, like, hey, could you imagine in the future to do some theater here in London. Yeah. And, and I said that to my wife actually in the Duke of York's theater, which is the theater ah. where we are gonna perform Barcelona. So it was like, sometimes it's like you feel like magic is mm. yeah. just there, you know? Mm. Meant to happen. Yeah, it yeah. all comes together. So you said Barcelona, and I feel I have to say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> of course, so the, of course. The, 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 I feel under pressure. Yeah. Um, the, the is called Barcelona. Um, Lily, you say very good. <laughs> thank you. Um, Lily, what can you tell us about the story? Well, um, there's so much that happens over the span of this 90 minutes because it's it starts off one thing, transitions into another, mm. and ends in another way. So we, we always, when we're talking about what the play is about, in a nutshell, it's a young woman from America, a tourist, who goes to Barcelona on a bachelorette party, meets a Spanish man at a bar, and goes home. And it's what happens in those 90 minutes. Um, lots of twists and turns, which we're still finding, actually, in the rehearsal space, because okay. we're, like I said, knee-deep in it right now. And every day, there's, like, surprises. Yeah. Today, yeah. we're like, how's this going to end? Oh, Okay, maybe it ends this way. Oh no, maybe it ends this way. And so it's constantly changing. Yeah, this sounds um, which good. Is, yeah, well, it's well, really fun. Yeah. It's been described as a as a thriller. I mean, Alvaro. I mean, a Spanish gen and a, in a bar. But where where does your character really kind of fit in? Well, actually, because of what Lily was saying, I, I don't know. Actually, nowadays, if it's a thriller anymore it's or not. Thrilling. Yeah, it's thrilling. <laughs> but it's not a it's got know? thriller elements. Yeah, yeah. yeah but but uh, you know. It's very nice to discover how a text that Bess will uh, wrote in this marvelous way that we are kind of discovering layers mm -hmm. and layers and layers. So mm -hmm. when you've got such a good material, it's always yeah. like, you know, it's a trip to discover mm -hmm. how, what, what is going to happen. So, mm -hmm. so I don't know yet. Now... At this moment, I wouldn't say it's a thriller. I don't know what I'm going to say tomorrow. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> the thing is every day we're like, so today it's more of this. Tomorrow it's more of this. And then you kind of fine tune it. But we're, we are right in the middle of that phase right Yeah, now. but very excited about yeah. this process. Yeah. Right. We'll be at the Duke of York, won't we? Yeah, we're coming course, to see yeah. this one. Um, now, Money Heist. Huge success. Yeah. Did you expect it to be so massive? I mean, none of us. When we made it, it was supposed to be a two seasons limited series for it. a national TV in Spain. And actually, the success at that moment was just average. Actually, I have to say that we began thinking that we were going to do like two seasons, nine and nine episodes. And we were in the beginning of the, of the shooting of the second season. And they released the first season and then they came like, mm, we're going to make six. Because, wow. because the success was not at all what it was after that. We, we made it, we said goodbye to the, to the characters, uh, and you go through your grief to say goodbye to something that you consider is really, we felt at that moment it was special. Say goodbye to this character when we, when we feel like the, we could tell some more yeah. things about the characters, it was a hard thing, but then Netflix took it. Yeah. And they put it in the international catalog, and it was just an explosion. And it's, gone huge. it's been amazing. We, we've not got too much time left, but I want to make sure I get this in. Barcelona is at the Duke of York's Theatre from the 21st of October, and tickets are available now. Uh, thank you so much to all of our guests to for time. tonight. Been thank a pleasure. You. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you for having us. Tomorrow I'll be here with Alex Scott, and we'll be joined by Miranda Hart, actor Sharon D. Clark, and strictly Sarah and Vita. We'll see you then. Bye bye. bye.